Hamburger patties we're using are these lean ground beef patties from Walmart. Reason why is because the macros are fire on them. 160 calories when most of your turkey burgers are 150 plus. You can eat the real deal. 8 grams of fat, 0 carb, and 22 grams of protein. We're going to add our favorite spice and put these on the Blackstone. My Blackstone is hot as hell and ready to go. We've got our burgers seasoned with my favorite seasoning for steak and for hamburgers, which is the Redmond's Real Salt Organic Garlic Pepper. And Burgess gets you a discount with all Redmond's Real Salt things. I have both sides seasoned. We're going to place them on the Blackstone. Y'all don't want to overcook these because we are going to be reheating them throughout the week for our cheeseburger wrap. Don't be scared if you got a little runnage of, you know, the red stuff. I know some people like barf at that, but again, we are going to reheat these. So I didn't want them to be Sahara Desert dry. Post meal prep, I'm just popping this bad boy in the microwave. Don't get triggered. You can put it in the air fryer. You can reheat it however you like. I'm just popping in there and yes, I'm not even using my cover, ratchet. This is a bacon cheeseburger wrap after all. We are using the black label fully cooked bacon by Hormel. Get this from Sam's Club, love it. Four slices is only 80 calories, y'all. This is great for being in a calorie deficit. Five grams of protein, six grams of fat. Don't worry about getting the turkey bacon, y'all. The turkey bacon is a little bit higher in protein, but it doesn't taste as good as the real deal. And this is gonna be the realest you can get while in a calorie deficit. Next, we're gonna make what's the game changer for this wrap besides using the real beef and the bacon is the special sauce. So we're gonna need some light mayo. I'm using Hellman's G. Hughes sugar-free ketchup. I like to put mine in a little thing because we fly through it and it just comes out better when you're weighing and tracking. Some yellow mustard and some pickle juice. And we are gonna use some pickle dill chips too in this recipe use whichever ones you like. First, we're gonna add our mayo to this and we're doing one tablespoon, which according to the back of the package is 15 grams. So I'm going to weigh up that as precise as possible, guys. Weighing and tracking is key when you're in a deficit. You can definitely overdo it big time. 15 grams, that little bit of mayo. Like how many of you guys are putting like this half of a thing on your sandwich and not even realizing what you're doing. Ketchup going in next and a tablespoon of G Hughes is 16 grams. So I got that going in perfectly. Yellow mustard, one teaspoon is five grams. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually is when you put it in here. And we got six grams, it's fine. Then I'm just gonna take a spoon, I got a little plastic spoon, and I'm just gonna fill it up, probably like a teaspoon with our pickle juice. You can put it as much as the consistency you want. That's about five grams. I went ahead and weighed it to tell you guys to be most exact as possible. Six grams, it changes sometimes. And we're just gonna take our spoon and carefully mix all this together to create our special sauce. Okay, y'all, this is looking good. You can add some like smoked paprika, any other type of seasons you want. It's fine like this just for me. And this is a lot of sauce, but I would rather have my wrap extra saucy than extra Sahara Desert dry, if you know what I mean. It's time to assemble our bacon cheeseburger wrap. So I'm using the Extreme Wellness Olay wraps. I really like these a lot. I like the Bandurito ones too, the carb counter ones, the bigger ones that are 45 calories, but these are really soft and they're really delicious. 50 calories and you've got one and a half fat, We've got four net carbs, if you are my keto peeps out there, and five grams of protein. I really like these. They're cost effective and they get the job done. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to take our hamburger patty and we are going to actually cut it up into little chunks because I don't wanna eat like just one big chunk throughout my wrap. I wanna get a bunch of little pieces of that hamburger as I'm eating. I already did this before and it actually worked out perfectly. Again, when you're cooking your burgers for prepping them, don't overcook them because as you can see, I reheated them and it still looks perfect. They're not like super dry or like char grill, like nastiness. It's perfect consistency, what we want. So I'm just laying out my burger on my wrap. Next, I'm just gonna place that bacon that I already cooked up in the microwave right on top. And then for my cheese, for our cheeseburger aspect of this, we're using Velveeta shreds. You can use regular cheese, fat-free cheese. I don't care what cheese you use. Use whatever you like. This melts up really great. We're gonna pop this in the air fryer. So I weighed up 15 grams. You can use as much or as little as you want. 15 grams is not a lot, but it's actually just enough when you go to wrap this up. 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna put any of my cold stuff on here. I'm gonna put some spinach as well. I'm just gonna wrap it over like so and I'm gonna pop this in the air fryer at 430 degrees and check on it probably about five minutes until it gets crispy and that cheese starts to melt. All right, out of the air fryer. Mine's a little extra crispy. I got a little distracted with our new addition, Saint, as our French bulldog puppy. But my cheese is looking all melty and good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my spinach. I'm just doing eight grams is not a lot. I'm actually gonna weigh it on the plate over here and then stuff it in the tortilla separately. But it's just enough. So that's eight, nine grams, about the same. Spinach is so low calorie, y'all. If you're just off like a gram or two, it's not a big difference. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm stuffing that in there. I'm gonna turn my thing off. I'm gonna add my pickles that I weighed out. I have 33 grams of pickles. My initial goal was 28, but y'all know pickles aren't all created equal. So we got 33 grams of pickles going in there. And then now y'all, now is the special sauce. Like this special sauce, next level. So I'm gonna drizzle it all over because you want every single bite to have that special sauce in there. Air fryer going off, going cray but we are putting every single drop on here. I know it looks like a lot and it is. It's going to be a little bit of a mess, but I mean, have you ever had a roast beef sandwich, at least if you're from the South, roast beef sandwich with debris and all on it, and it's just like getting everywhere. The sloppier, the better, y'all, the better tasting. So that is our bacon cheeseburger wrap in all its glory. So the side of my bacon cheeseburger wrap, I'm just keeping it simple with some Quest protein chips. You could do some type of veg on the side if you wanted to keep the protein down or to not use a processed food, but these chips are really good. And who doesn't like a burger and chips? I mean, I would go hard with some French fries for dinner with this too. The calories with the Quest chips now, 468 calories. So under 500 calories for the chips and this big old wrap and 53 grams of protein. Now just the wrap itself is 33 grams of protein, still substantial post-workout or any type of meal to get your protein up. Delicious. If you're missing your cheeseburger fix, this is going to get it to you. Most cheeseburgers out to eat guys are like a thousand calories because of the really fatty meat and all the different toppings and condiments that they put on it. This is gonna give you that fix. You're not gonna feel deprived and still have your cheeseburger love while cutting.